stories of what the coronavirus is doing to everyday life all across our community. We begin with News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott, who's at the stadium, where the turnout for testing this morning was not as large as it has been in the past. Jim. You, you know, that was a surprise to some people, though they did have to close at 1.30 today because they reached capacity. But it had been much earlier last week, because I've been out here most every day at that point. These people out here now are starting to get results, but there are still a group of people that have yet to be tested, those without cars. Thousands of people have been tested over the last two weeks at Lot J. While the results are now making their way back to them, there are others who are still looking at ways to be tested. I just received this email from a woman who we're not identifying, which says, I need to go and get tested for COVID-19 virus. Where do I go? I have a five-year-old son that needs to be tested also and use Jacksonville's transportation bus for our transportation. That's a concern I've been asking since testing started. So I told Mayor Curry about this case. She can't get to a testing site because it requires a car. Are there making any type of provisions for people that don't have a car to be tested? The Department of Health. She called the, the Florida Department of Health. Let me back up. I'm sorry. Um, yes, she should call the Florida Department of Health. Uh, but I want it goes back to what I said just a few minutes ago. Um, there are people right now that are scared and concerned, trying to figure out how to get testing. And we acknowledge that. Um, uh, we, we feel for this mother and her and her child, um, but the protocols are to call the Florida Department of Health. The health department suggests you contact them at 904-253-1850, and they will see if special arrangements can be made. Also, people with health issues are urged to contact their doctor, but not just show up at an emergency room. This past weekend is also one where many people stayed inside, and I had a chance to talk to the sheriff about that. How is the stay-at-home order being enforced? Did everybody seem to comply? Have there been any problems? Yeah, we, we actually had a, a, a decent weekend in terms of that. So from the beginning of the stay-at-home order, we've handled about 300 or so complaints. Uh, keep in mind, a lot, not all of those are valid. Uh, we've written about 40 reports uh, and referred those 40 incidents to different, uh, you know, variety of agencies that are addressing those issues. And we've not issued any uh, notice to appear citations or made any arrests at this point. One thing that the sheriff did talk about is this upcoming weekend, being that it's Easter weekend, he knows that a lot of people are going to be trying to celebrate Easter. But he says, again, you can't do that in large gatherings at this point, and they will be watching for that. The parks are closed. They just don't want to see those groups of people. They know it's going to be rough. We're live at the stadium at Lot J, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.